Here is an excellent set of videos which will help you to solve most of the person related word problems. So go through them in sequence and by the end of the 10th video you should be in a position to solve any person problem, right? So that is what our aim is. This is the first one. Percent as proportion and we have three examples related to the same. All the three are different. So go through them very carefully. When we say percent as proportion, what are we trying to say? Percent is something over 100, right? So we can write this as percent P over 100. And always we write percent in decimals or in fractions or with percent sign. So let me this time write it as a ratio. Ratio of part of a whole, right? So sometimes we also say ratio of a number over a base. So B is for base for you to remember. Now that is the kind of equation which you are going to land with. And to solve this equation is to cross multiply. So cross multiply this number with that and 100 by the number on top of the fraction. Then you get an equation without fractions, right? And then you can solve it. Now let's go through the question and then see how first we can write in proportion form and then solve. The question is what is 12% of 97? Now to do these problems you should keep calculator handy and remember to round your answers to two decimal places. Normally percent examples will involve money, right? And money we have to two decimal places. So the question is, what is 12% of 97? So 97 is the whole amount and we need to find the part amount which should make it 12%. So we have the equation right there. 12% means 12 over 100 equals to part amount we want to find. So we write A here and 97 is the whole amount. So we get our equation, correct? Now from here, we can cross multiply and get the answer for A. So that means what I will do is I will multiply 12 by 97, right? Divide by 100 to get the answer for A. Use calculator at this moment. So we say 12 times 97 equals 2 and divide by 100, right? Two decimal places. So we get 11.64. So that is the answer, 11.64. So that is 12% of 97. You can always check this answer. That means, how will you check? Tell me. Find 12% of 97 using calculator and you will get 11.64, right? That means 12 over 100 times 97. Now let's do the next one using proportions. 32 is what percent of 72? That means we know that 72 is a whole, correct? And now we need to find percent in this case, correct? So part is 32. So we know we need to find percent. So P over 100 is something which we need to find and we are already given 32 over 72. To find P, cross multiply. So we get P equals to 32 over 72 times 100. Now use your calculator and figure it out. So 32 divided by 72 equals to 4 over 9. We'll change it to decimals and then multiply by 100. So we get 44.44. Right, so that is our answer. Now the last one is 20 is... 35% of what number? So 20 is a part amount, right? We don't know the whole amount. So that is the whole number, right? So 35% is given to us. So we write 35% equals to 20 is, 20 is a part amount of what number? So we write 20 over B, correct? Now in this case, we'll again cross multiply and find B. So we get B equals to B comes here. And we get 20, 35 goes down, times 100. And now again, use your calculator, do 20 times 100, 
divided by 35 equals to 57.142. So we'll write this as 57.14. See, we got all the three questions. We made our equations and solved them, correct? Now I hope you understood the process. Let's go through it once again. That is, what is 12% of 97? 12% 12 means 12 over 100 of 97. 97 is our whole amount. Now to solve for, so we got our equation A over 97. To solve for A, just cross multiply. That means bring 97 in the numerator, right? So we get 12 times 97. That dot here means multiply them together, then divide by 100, round your answer to two decimal places. This is what we did. 32 is what percent of 72? So 32 over 72 is part over whole. And we need to find percent. We wrote P over 100, cross multiply, right? And then you get your answer. 20 is 35% of what number? So 20 is the part amount given to us. We don't know the whole. So 20 over B becomes the fraction part. And 35% is the percent, something over 100. To find B, this is kind of tricky. Cross multiply. Get B here and then then bring this 100 there and 35 back to B place, correct? So cross multiply is the strategy. Remember this. Cross multiply. Now here, in addition to those of you who want to understand how to write equation from the word problem, I'm adding on to this. Now we'll translate words or rather a sentence into an equation. What means not known, right? What means not known? Instead of what, we always write a variable, right? And this variable is x for us time being. Is means equal to. So for is, write equal to. 12% means 12 over 100. Off is a multiplication sign, okay? And 97 is the number. So that is the equation. You can check. A is what? 12 times 97 divided by 100. We get our answer by translating the equation, or rather the sentence into equation. What translates to the unknown variable x is to equal to 12% of means multiplication, and 97 is the number. Let's do the next one. 32 is what percent of 72? So 32 is the number. Is means equal to. What means x, the variable? Percent means over 100, what percent, right? So it's kind of what percent? X over 100 percent, right? Of means multiplication, 72 is the number. So X will be 32 times 100 divided by 72. That's what we got. 20 is 35 percent of what number? We say 20 is means equal to 35 percent means 35 over 100, correct? Of times. What number? x, the unknown. x should be equal to 20 times 100 divided by 35. You get it. So we have shown you how to do it as a person and now we are doing word problems. So you need to translate sentences into equation and then solve. So first two examples kind of practice getting you prepared for solving person problem. So I'm teaching you two additional things. How to solve ratios. Do you see these are the steps to solve ratios? How to treat percent as a proportion? And how to translate your sentence into equation and then solve. I hope that should be extremely beneficial for you. Now the next one, I'm not going to explain you in this much details, but do it faster. I'd like you to pause the video and do it on your own also. Thank you. All the best.